guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Megan. Um, you can also find me on Facebook. I have a group, Fluid Art Fanatics, if you'd like to join and share your artwork, um, ask your questions there. It's a fun place to um, chat. But today, I'm going to use some leftover paint. I have so much leftover paint, it's crazy. So I'm going to use some up today. I, I need to get rid of some. I was going to mix some new colors and I thought I have got to get rid of some of these colors before I start mixing. So um, I've decided, kind of October-y, halloween -y, not really, but kind of going with it. So I have purple, orange, fluorescent yellow. I love this fluorescent yellow. Even in paintings where you don't think you necessarily want fluorescent, um, this fluorescent yellow just really pops. It doesn't necessarily look um, fluorescent-y. Is that a word, fluorescent-y? I'm making it one today. All right. And then this steel... I wish I would have marked this. I cannot remember. I think this might be a... I think I said that last time. I thought it was a... Um, doo -doo -doo. Uh, Arteza color, but I don't I don't think it is. It's a really pretty. I'm gonna have to do some thinking and figure out where I, where I got this color because it's really pretty. Do I have it marked? Nope, of course not because that would have been too smart. Okay, so anyway, I am going to do I was gonna do a swipe, but swiping generally takes less paint um, than other techniques um, and the goal is to use up some paint. Woo! Um, so I'm going to do a quaffle. I always have to think because I want to call it a quaffer from Harry Potter. I'm going to do a quaffle. Um, these little cups are on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description bar. Um, and somebody asked what the point was. And really, um, from the sales I've gotten from it and different types of techniques I, I, that I've used, I'm pretty sure, this is my theory, okay, it's not scientific, but... Um, I've always said that turbulence causes cells, paint turbulence. So the more you can get your paint to sort of interact, um, the more it's going to sell because it's, you know, kind of, you know, turbulent. <laughs> so, and the colors are kind of hitting each other. So um, that's my theory is that as it goes down and then out, it kind of, you know, I don't know, take that for what it's worth, which may not be a whole lot. So I'm going to start with purple here. And I do have a little bit of white. Yeah, let's just do a tiny bit. You know what? No, I don't have white. There's nothing in there. I don't have white. Okay, my... I'm going to do a few pours with some leftover paint to get rid of it. Um, but I don't have any white, so I guess I'll be doing a bunch of pours without white. Ugh. Hopefully my colors are mixed thick enough that we won't get too much bleeding from that purple into that yellow. I think they are. This yellow and orange have been in there a while. I probably would have been smart maybe to add a little water. That's okay, we'll see what happens. Put some thicker layers. I'm I'm kind of thinking ring pour. I'm not doing a swirl. I always do really thin layers for a swirl. I don't want really thin layers for a. I like super thin layers for any kind of like flip. Because I don't like it to get too busy. This orange is kind of thick. It's been in there a while. I don't use orange a whole lot. Probably should have checked it to make sure it didn't need any water. That's okay. I needed these cups anyway. I'll top it off with a little bit of purple. It would be smart to know how many ounces this cup holds. I do not know. I'm going to use the rest of my purple. Let's just clean out a cup. That's three colors totally gone, and I still have some of that gray. I'm kind of mumbling this morning. I apologize if you can't hear me. So 
sitting here talking to myself and I realize I'm kind of talking quietly. Okay, so I still have this steel gray. Time to sit and ponder where that came from. Okay. Flip. Flip. Sound effects always help. Carefully put this down because stuck. What in the world did I do? <laughs> I got my hand stuck under the canvas. That has never happened. Okay. Now what I'm going to do real quick, put a little flow trawl down on the canvas just a little bit and spread it out just to help the paint flow around the canvas. I find a slippery surface makes it Better. And I could have used some of that steel gray, I guess, in case this doesn't quite cover the canvas, but we'll deal with that when it happens, if it happens. If you didn't see the challenge where I used the coffer cup um, with the other artists that I do monthly challenges with, um, I will link to those also in the description bar because everybody used them a little bit differently. This is how I used them in the challenge. Um, I think Baker Boo set them down on the canvas sideways. Um, um, several people used more than one on a canvas. So I'll link to that because everybody kind of used the cup a little bit differently and it was really interesting. And I've said since then I want to try putting it down sideways and letting it flow out and you know I never have. Okay, ready? Oh, you probably won't be able to hear it, but they do make a glug, 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 glug when you pick them up, which is kind of fun. And I found the best way to clean it uh, is to leave it upside down on um, your surface. Most of it comes out, and then what doesn't, there's not very much. You have to rinse out um, a little water. And it cleans really easily. Oh, I love that bright yellow. Love, love, love that fluorescent yellow. Okay. Doop -doo. Why doesn't that want to move? That's why I put the flow trawl there. Okay, I ran right over that ribbon because it did not want to move. That ribbon was an attention hog. It's like, I am staying right here and you can't make me move. Sure, I'm digging this steel gray with the purple. I'm guessing it's the steel gray's fault because purple is just pretty. Not really. I just I'm not sure. Quite like them together. Maybe a lighter purple. Okay, let's go back this way a little bit. Let that yellow kind of seep down. We did not get mud, which is really nice. Although maybe that's why I don't like that steel gray. It almost looks like almost looks like mud. Get my corners here. Get that bright, bright yellow and orange. Try and get that yellow just a little bit more to this side, if I can. Without it going weird. There we go. There we go. Okay, I like that better. Oh, and that's really pretty right there. So there we go. Used up some paint. Some really pretty bright yellow against that purple. 
I'll do some close-ups because I'm getting some really cool cells. I made some of them wonky when I tilted the last time, but some really pretty cells popping up here. You can see the... I like the purple and the yellow and the orange. Not digging that steel gray. You'll have to let me know what you think. Some cute little cells that for some reason remind me of, um, oh shoot, what are those? Ooh, those are pretty. Um, what's that tanned pasta called? Oh shoot, somebody will let me know in the comment section, I'm sure. The little round, I keep thinking Cheerios, but that's not it, it's the pasta. That's a pretty area right there. It looks like a butterfly, doesn't it? I'll have to get a close-up picture of that one, because that's really pretty. I'm not sure. I, I'm curious. like your opinions. That steel gray against the purple. They're both really pretty colors, but I just, I don't know. I don't think they go. But maybe you think they do, so let me know. But I do love that bright yellow, that bright orange against the purple. Kind of Halloweenish colors. So that's the coffer. Here it is sitting and draining. So it'll drain. I'll get a nice skin out of it. But anyway, when you leave it, and it takes a while, but if you leave it a while on your surface, uh, most of that will drain off and you can clean it really well. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So. There you have it. We will see you next time, guys. Happy pouring.